After a year and a half of living here, I've made over every single little nook and cranny in this house. We transformed this room in our basement into a studio for Studio Calm and realized we have yet to touch this little closet and it honestly needs all the help that it can get. I want to make it functional and stylish and do it all on a budget, so that is exactly what we're DIYing today. Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tina and I am a DIYer and I most recently became a small business owner. If you've been following along, you know that I most recently just launched a new business selling art prints that I created myself. One, two, three. Cardboard. Ooh, got the bubble wrapping. I think this is one of the prints. Woo! My heart's racing. Ah. Wow. This is really secure. This is very, very secure. Ooh. Oh my god, they look so good, you guys. And there's a divider too. Oh wow, look there are that. dividers on each one. You guys, I can't believe this is real. The quality paper is insane. So much work has gone into these. Tina has made like so many adjustments that make these perfect and they honestly came out perfect. This oh is so crazy. Oh my god, I'm so so excited, you guys. Introducing Lotus Bloom. These are beautiful. You did such a good job, on. Thanks, babe. I first of all want to say thank you guys for making it such a success. The launch was amazing and you guys showed me so much love. We have sold basically 70% of my prints, which is just so huge to me. So thank you guys for ordering. If you would still like a print, it is not too late. I will have the website info right here. In my last video, you guys saw me make over this whole entire room and now it's looking pretty good. We are still figuring out our workflow with everything. And this this week we are going to work on a spot that I totally neglected because it just seemed too overwhelming for me. So this week we are actually going to tackle it and you guys know that I love to basically make use of every nook and cranny in my house. This area definitely needs a makeover so I'm excited to get into it this week. I also want to thank Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. They have been such a huge help in just making this whole launch happen. We're going to show you all the behind the scenes of what it looked like on launch week so I hope you guys are excited. I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around and show you guys the area that we're working on. So here it is the space in question this random closet that is in here it is very much unfinished at least to me it feels unfinished because there's no lighting in here there is a rod some of these planks that I just love so much, and then more of this blue color. And also in here is just like a big tube, which does not look very great, so I need to camouflage it somehow because from the outside you can see it a little bit, and even this trim right here, what is going on. As you can tell, it's really dark in here, but the plus side is there is an outlet in here, so I would love to actually put a little bit of lighting in here. One of the things that we noticed while we were shipping orders is that we really do not have enough tabletop space. So I think putting everything in here is really going to free up some space and also just make a nice little command center. But as you can see, we have these shelves right here, which are definitely covering this. I'm still trying to figure out how to configure this room, especially since we're in the basement. There are two windows that are kind of in the way. So we'll see what we can do to actually make the room feel a little bit better, especially now now that we're going to utilize the closet. Hello. I brought in some reinforcements. We need to get rid of this. It was my little pull-up system. No, I'm just kidding. I would break this. It's currently stuck in there and it looks like they put in a wood device. <laughs> oh my God. This is why Tina explains the videos. They put a piece of trim in here and they placed one side of the pole in here. Brad nailed it in and did the same to the other, so you can't slide this out. It makes as much sense to cut this in half. Not sure if that's right, the expert's opinion. I feel like you could just hang on this and it will literally break. Brian really just wants to use a saw right now. Can we get out of the way? I tried. No, you didn't! <laughs> This worked because I wanted to saw it and Tina said to what? Hang off of it. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. There we go. What are you doing? 
<laughs> warding off the mountain lions. <laughs> Success. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I think I want to keep the wood and kind of make it look like shiplap. I think it'll be nice because it'll give this a little bit more character and I don't have to do any extra work. All I have to do is just paint on top of this and then sand parts like this. But yeah, I'm gonna go through and basically fill up some of these holes and things so it looks a little bit more seamless. And also I'm thinking about bringing a little bit more green into this. What do you guys think? Since this wood is really porous, primer was definitely necessary and I honestly debated whether or not I was going to take off the wood and have a bare wall. I had different ideas of what I wanted to do but I just ended up keeping it because I thought it would be a fun accent without having to do too much extra work. And you guys know me, if I can help it, I will keep things intact as long as I can before replacing it. We are primed and ready to go and if you guess that I'm going to paint it green then you would be correct because I really want to tie this back to the accent wall that we have across from here and I think it'll look really nice with the wood tones that I plan on putting in here as well. A bunch of you asked which color that I'm using and it is Gladiator Gray by Bear. I don't know why it's called gray when it is a green. This is the same green that I used in our bedroom before we just recently refreshed it and I just absolutely love it. It's a really good dark green. In these clips, I had planned to just paint the top half of the closet, but I ended up just doing the whole thing by the end of the project, and it took two coats to get really even coverage on the wood. I wanted to take some time here just to say thank you guys so much for the launch of Studio Calm. I know I've said it like a million times by now, but I truly mean it. Okay guys, it is launch day! We are sitting at our dining table because that's just where we like to work. Yep. I'm going to publish the website in like, I don't know, less than 20 minutes. Ah! Exciting, it's exciting. Ah! I'm like so scared. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my Woo! god, my heart is beating so fast. We're moving password. We are live! We We're are live! live! We're live! Oh my, oh my god. god, okay, refresh. We're live! Alright, let's go. A one active cart. Our first active cart, baby. <laughs> where does it say that? I don't even know where to it's look. Right there. I love you. My heart right now, you guys. I'm just. I can't. Oh, so it's already checking out. We've waited so long for this moment. Three checking out. Three checking out. Oh my god, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. First order. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you to Daymari, who's our first customer ever. Thank you so much. I can't, I can't, I can't. I yeah. have no words. <laughs> the days leading up to it, I was just so nervous. So just getting all of your kind comments and messages really helped me calm my nerves and get through the launch day. We spent a lot of time prepping and packing and it honestly was a lot of fun for me. Brian absolutely loves doing repetitive work. So he was having the time of his life just packing everything. Like that is literally his dream job, just packing orders and doing things one by one. I think the most surreal moment for me was just mailing it out and then seeing you guys actually receive your packages like it honestly warmed my heart so much i want to give an extra big thank you to everyone who ordered that honestly means the world to me and we still have prints up on the site if you guys would like one or you could stay tuned for a little giveaway that we're doing which is open to international viewers so i will give you guys all the details and again i just want to say thank you guys and i also want to thank fiverr for also helping me make this all happen we honestly could not have launched studio calm without getting some extra help. I am someone who's very visual. I have big ideas, but I honestly don't know how to make them happen sometimes, especially when it comes to graphic design skills. That is something that I am really lacking in. So if I can hire someone who is an expert at it, I definitely will. I use Fiverr all the time, both for personal and also professional projects. It is such a great resource. And if you're not familiar with Fiverr, it basically connects you to freelancers that offer different digital services. They 
made it super easy to find and communicate with freelancers. So even before you hire them, you can chat them and get any of your questions answered, which is what I like to do before I start any of the projects. So I actually made the logo myself, which I'm very proud of, but I definitely needed help with actually building out a brand. So I had some colors in mind and that was basically it. So I went to Fiverr and I hired a graphic designer to build out a brand guide for me. So with my graphic designer, we were able to come up with this brand guide, which honestly just looks so amazing. It looks so polished. I have all of my brand colors here. I also have a pattern that I can use for different social media posts. They gave me all the elements that I needed and they also helped me create the sticker for my packaging, which I think looks amazing. Once I had that, I took the guide and I brought it over to a web designer who really brought my vision to life. I sent them inspiration, what the brand was about, the products, and they just took everything and made this beautiful website. Like once I saw this, I could not believe that this was for our brand. So many of you said that you love the website and I honestly just could not be happier with it. So I'm really glad that I was able to get someone to help with that. I just really love how everything came out. So if you guys want to check out the freelancers that I use, I will link them below for you. And if you guys would like to check out Fiverr, I do have a link below for 10% off of your order. So make sure to click and use the code Tina. When I was planning out this space, I originally thought about making it like a desk closet situation. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized we actually don't sit in that room at all. So it just would not make any sense. So instead I'm going to make it a standing desk situation with a printer in there. I think it'll be the perfect solution for that area. And I thought about making it kind of like a map cabinet slash like a paper storage type of situation. There's gonna be our tabletop and then some shelves here so I could put a bunch of different papers. And at the bottom, I'm leaving it open so that we can put some bins down there for extra storage. I know that there is already tons of storage on the shelves but that is all just for stock items. So for whatever else we need, kind of like office -y materials, I think this would be a good place to put it. All right, I think I have a solid plan. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut everything out. This shelving system is gonna be a little bit on the taller side just to utilize as much space as possible in here. Essentially, it is a simple bookshelf slash cabinet. Each of the shelves are just gonna be six inches apart and everything is gonna be held by pocket holes. For the top, I had to add a little notch on the side to fit that awkward pipe in the corner of the closet. And then I added a half round opening in the center on the back for cords. This is gonna span the entire area of the closet and is going to serve as a tabletop for things like our printers and other office items. I'm gonna pocket hole all of these and I saw someone use the same little jig that I have, which I've told you guys in the past, don't buy this one, buy the other one because honestly, it will just make your life a little bit easier. But I saw someone basically clamp it to the wood piece instead of on the tabletop, which I think will make my life a little bit easier. So I'm going to try that and see how that works. This is just a pain to set up every single time, you guys. Okay, this is already a lot faster and I'm only on my second hole. For the record, Tina said, can you help me with this project, honey? And I said, sure, what do you need me to do? She said, I just need you to hold it. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, basically. The glue is very, uh, drippy. Ugh! Right oh, okay. Underneath them. Now shall screw it in. If I can get this open. I'm exhausted. One. Two. Three. Okay, so this is good? Yep. We found it easiest just to assemble it in the studio. That way we did not have to move it across the entire basement. The little spacers that I made were really helpful. That way I didn't have to measure every single time and I made sure everything was leveled. And you basically just want to add it row by row until you get to the last shelf. Oh, 
Keep going. I'm like, I made sure it was gonna fit. Okay, it'll fit. Wow, what the heck? That's like Ooh. a perfect fit. You want storage? You got storage, baby. <laughs> ended up cutting this a little bit shorter on the sides and I feel like whenever I'm working on a closet I honestly don't learn my lesson because nothing fits exactly. You always just want to make things a little bit smaller especially if you have things like trim and stuff inside so I think now this will fit. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed and see how it goes. Yay! I did it, you guys! Wow, I really like how this turned out. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering why I didn't edge band the edge here because this is plywood so you can see all the different layers. But I wanted to try out this trend where you basically just paint the edge here and then the rest is wood. So I think it makes a really nice contrast. So I have a tiny brush here and I'm just going to paint the edge with the green. And if there's any that gets over the edge, you can basically just sand it off and that way you get a nice clean line. Okay, here we go. We are going to use up some of the vertical space in that tiny closet and I was thinking that I can create some shelves so I went on to the anthro site and I found these shelves. They're a little bit too long for my space so I thought that I could just make them myself. They look pretty simple to do. I have a bunch of these hobby boards laying around and I think they would be perfect for this project. I also just really love the wood finish on this and I think paired with a brass rod it will look really good. So I grabbed this off of Amazon and once you put them together Together. It just looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead cut these down and assemble them and I feel like these should be pretty easy to make. This project is basically just made up of four pieces of wood, a bottom, two side pieces, and then a back support piece and you can totally customize this to any size that you'd like. I didn't want mine to be as tall as the original, so I'm cutting the two sides down at six inches each. Then you wanna find a drill bit that is the same size as the rod and drill a quarter of the way into the wood. I will link down below where I got these brass rods, but you could also use just a regular wooden dowel and spray paint that gold and that would work really well as well. I used a little bit of glue just to keep it in place and then I figured out the size for my bottom and then the back support piece. The wood that I'm using is pretty thin, so I just used wood glue and brand nailed it together. But if you want to make something that's a lot sturdier, make sure that you use select pine or something like that and then use screws to really keep it in place. And voila, we have an anthropology inspired shelf done for just a fraction of the price. This came out super cute and also very much like the original, so I'm pretty happy with it. It is now time to start installing and styling everything and also organizing all of my paper in here. I am so excited because now we have a little office command center and it's just gonna be so much more functional than what we had before.
this is definitely one of those projects where it just did not look good until the very end. This is honestly just what I needed in this space and now I feel so much more organized and also it just looks so much more stylish than what was here before. I hope this gave you some good ideas on how to utilize a closet space that you could otherwise turn into a little office slash command center. I am very proud of myself for this project but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It is now giveaway time so we're gonna have three international winners and then three US domestic winners. I know that we couldn't make international shipping happen right now. We wanted to be able to have more of our art in your homes and I wanted to open this internationally so that you guys can win one of these three prints. So here is the Sienna Bouquet, Apricot Blossom, and then we have Lotus Bloom. So all you have to do is to comment down below which print you would like. You also have to be subscribed to the channel, like this video, and also let me know if you're watching from the US or if you're an international viewer. We'll choose all the winners by the end of this week, so make sure to check out all the details in the description box. And if you would like an extra entry, make sure to check out this post over on Instagram. I'm so excited that we're gonna have more of our artwork in your homes, and I cannot thank you guys enough for your support. So thank you guys so much, and make sure to stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. And a huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. If you wanna check them out and save 10% off of your order, make sure to click on my link below and use my code Tina. That is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!